Hey guys, so today is August 14th of 2013. I believe that's the date at least. <laughs> um, I got some fire alarm updates for you guys. Um, so, uh, as you guys can see, I got a new pulse station here. Um, I got this pulse station today. Um, and it's pretty cool because uh, I got the rest of these things. I've, I've only got five pulse stations. These are all the pulse stations I have until I... I had until I got this thing, so, uh, this thing, uh, just got this thing today, just about an hour ago. This is a, uh, Cerberus, Cerberus, I don't know, like, how to say it, dumb name, Cer Cerberus Pyrotronics MS501 Pulse Station. Um, this thing was just taken out of one of Dad's buildings today, I believe, um, they'll be replacing the fire alarm system there. I'll get that into that in just a minute. I believe it, uh, th that's the same building that uh, this thing came out of. I got this. I believe I got this from the same building. This is a Cerberus Pyrotronic CHM-D horn strobe. So you guys should know about that by now. I've had that for a while. Um, so anyway, uh, they took this out today. Um, the reason that they're replacing the fire alarm system is it's, it's just pretty old. And... Uh, um, and if you guys are going to be asking, am I going to be getting the panels? No, I'm not going to be getting the panels. And yes, I did say panels. Um, the system there apparently is huge. It's a uh, five-panel, 100-zone system, and each panel is about the size of a Simplex 4100. So I really am not interested in a system that big up here on my demonstrate on my fire alarm system wall that I want the system to be on. So. All I'm trying to find is a replacement 4004 or something, uh, something to replace my old 4004 that broke and um, get a, I'm trying to get a, uh, just a conventional four zone panel, not a uh, five panel 100 zone system. <laughs> so that's totally not what I need. So, um, but they're going to be keeping the notification appliances apparently, um, um, the pro the particular pole station that's going to be replacing this one is going to be a kind of a like master pole station for the whole system. I think they're going to be taking out the rest of the pole stations, and they're just going to have a like master pole station at the front of the building. Um, that's what Dad said. Um, so they will be taking out the rest of the pole stations. I believe that those are more MS five hundred ones they got over there. Um, so hopefully, when they do get taken out in the next few weeks, Dad will uh, bring them home for me. And uh, I'll probably maybe keep one more and then put the rest on eBay. But I'm not even sure at this point if I'm going to be getting them. Um, not, not sure about smoke detectors. I don't care too much about smoke detectors. So um, anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and be testing this thing. To accompany it, I've got my uh, System Sensor Spectre Alert uh, H1224 first generation horn. I was considering using my Spectre Alert P1224 MCW horn strobe or my EST Genesis, but I, I wanted to mix things up today with no uh, strobe. So, um, anyway, we're going to uh, get my screwdriver here. Since this thing is a pain to pull and reset, I'm, I'm going to have to use both hands, so that's why I have my, I'm going to just lean the camera up against my screwdriver here, um, so you guys can see it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this thing. Um, because the, the handle on this thing is on the bottom compared to the rest of my pull stations, I'm going to have to kind of pull it out here so I got more room. Um, because, because you basically can't pull this thing down because it's going to hit my board here. So I'm just going to give it a bit more room. So we're going to go ahead, actually I'm going to lift it up a little bit. So we're just going to go ahead and do what it says on, on the device. Push here, pull down.
so there you guys go. Just screwing it back in here. Again, this thing takes quite a while to um to uh fully reset. So that's the the wonder of these things. Huh. Okay. Um. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Uh. Um. I'm very happy I got a replacement pulsation. Uh, um. And I'm. Pr it's pretty cool that I got an M an MS five hundred one too because th this is not uh particularly a pulsation I would buy by myself. Um. I would not just go onto eBay and buy this. So this would not be my first choice for a pull station. But, you know, it's free. So, I'm just saying that I would not buy it. But, you know, if it's free, then it's cool. So, um, be adding this to my collection. So, um, here's the back of it so you guys can see it a little bit. When Dad got it, the spring came off, so I put a spring. It's actually, like, missing one of its springs. So, I put the, uh, the spring that was on there back on. Um, so when you open it, this thing is supposed to pop back up, but it doesn't have the other spring, so it's really not strong enough to pull itself back up, so I kind of have to help it up. Um, it was very dusty, um, just got done cleaning it out, and, uh, it looks pretty good for, uh, um, a thing that was installed in a very industrial building, so, um, anyway, um, thanks for watching, and I guess that'll be it.